Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm here from my stand gamers, and welcome. So today I want to welcome you to a little bit of a laggy video, but this is a project of massive proportion. Pushing the limits of space engineers and building something that is truly wonderful to the eye. Now here in front of us we have Arc 17 Alpha's The Wandering Earth Station. Now this is of course a beautiful design, there is so much going on, you're going to notice the frame rate is around 3 or 4, I'm running the high spec PC so in, in reality this, this is just the game pushing itself to the limits, there is thousands upon thousands, millions of blocks in this world multiple layers, lots of things overlapping, and just to create this shape, let's go and have a look at some of the detailing. We're going to try our best to take a look around this thing. It's going to be difficult, I'm going to warn you that, just, just purely because of how laggy it's going to be. So let's have a look at the actual construction of this station. So the first thing you're going to notice is the massive amount of grids that are on rotors. There is modifications in this world, and that is to, of course to create the shape, but just have a look how this ring has been created with a mixture of of hinge parts, landing gears attached together. The scale of this is just massive. They use some connector pieces here just to add a little bit of detail into these segments. Let's go up to the next segment along here of this solar panel. You can see we've got some ladders that can access each individual segment of these solar panels. Just to get these to all align together and create this round sort of disc must have been a work in its own. Of course, we can actually go inside each of these individual pieces and have a closer look if we want to. So you can see the solar panels within each of the sections, the detail of each area, as well as the battery. So if space engineers could handle this, this would be a fully functioning station. Let's go and have a look at the inner rim. Of course, this connector, docking ports, all these sections, plenty of rotors to boot. And we've got some more solar panels here in this section. Isn't this just beautiful to the eye? It's just crazy how much detail and how much effort, especially poor, poor Alpha having to just sit in this low frame rate as he's building this thing. But look at the construction. We've got some more hinges going in there. We've got this centralized round area with landing gears of course completing the look. Look at that. This is fantastic. The detail and the time and effort that must have gone into each individual piece of this is insane. I know you're plowing through this at a low sim speed with me. You can see this is like a little bit of an interior corridor here with lights. And yes, it is difficult almost to watch. It's a little bit like a slideshow. We're pretty much doing a PowerPoint of this <laughs> this spotlight today. Look at this upper arm as well. Now, there was just some discussion in the chat about trying to get this to rotate. But many issues being caused with that. You can see how it extends out into this arm and this little pod on this side. Let's have a little look at the access port here. So you can see there's actually a small block over the top of that, creating some detail. And you can see the little control seat in the area as well. It's just fantastically detailed. The time of this project must have took forever. And you can see it, it is rotating, but due to the frame rate, it's just going so slowly. Lovely. Let's have a quick look inside here. We're going through the cockpit. Normally, I, I look in on, around the outside and then go inside, but we're just going to have a quick poke inside here and just have a look at the detailing of this thing. Full navigation inside. Of course, this is going to be an area that you can navigate without any sort of gravity required. So they've got lots of grab rails. They've got the lockers up in that section. And of course, they've got this centralized shaft that you can grab onto and move through the different compartments. Well, let's just back out of there quickly. Try not to get ourselves too lost within this design itself. So that little module there, just have a look at these blast doors wrapped around this segment here. That looks so gorgeous. Oh, I'm in awe about this design. I, I, I love a ship or a station that just takes me back. Only if it could run this at a little bit higher sim speed. But, you know, maybe we're asking a little bit too much. Each of the modules around the side. Let's have a look at the rear section. Now, I have to say... This particular station has one of the most gorgeous thrust sections that I've ever seen on a craft. Look at that whole section there, just supporting. We've got, of course, the shaft that runs down the middle. We've got some little LCDs lighting up this section. I'll try to put the spectator camera on. Of course, we've got rotation here in this section. We've got the various different fuel modules as we come back. Let's just have a look. There's so much detail in each section. I feel like I could be here for days. We've got the ladders, of course, for grab bars. 
Look at that little bit of an LCD tip on the edge there, just creating a little bit of lighting as it draws you through that central compartment, almost like a turbine. I mean, of course it's not. So as we're coming into here, we've got the cargo bay section using some of their modded blocks and modded angled conveyors. This is, of course, all rotating. Wow, that is damn awesome. We've got in this section another little module. I'm guessing this is maybe um, the oxygen farm. We've got this little satellite dish attached here on the side. Really nice indeed. Let's see if we can pop inside here and have a look at the insides of this segment. So you can see we've got more of these offset blocks placed around the edge. And if we go inside here, we're just, we're just actually inside one of the round block segments. I think these are like a rounded conveyor mod. I'm not too sure. Coming back a little bit further, we have what looks to be a dangerous area. There's lots of crosses around it. It's trying to maybe avoid collisions. So this looks like a hydrogen fuel area. This is, of course, not rotating. It's hard with this frame rate to work out what's rotating and what's not. You can see these straps that have been placed around this section and the wheels to give it a little bit more detail in, in each one of these sort of fuel cell areas. Wow. You could just imagine flying through this and maneuvering if the sim speed was a little higher. You know, we can only hope and we can only dream, though, one day being able to do this. Big projects like this take a lot of time as well. Look at these already Texas just detailing the outer area of these hydrogen tanks as well as the centralized tanks there. Let's continue to the rear. So we're passing more of the hydrogen tank section and we're actually going into the rear thrust pack that I think is amazing. Look at this star sort of design. Let's have a look at a little bit of ribbon and the detailing that we've got over on this section. Oh, look at that, that is gorgeous. The old, the old section is rotating as well. They've got a little catwalk with a little bit of lighting going on in that section there as well. Let's just have a quick slip into there. Look at these diamond sort of black areas that are just kind of separate from the design there as well. Wow, so much time and design. Let's have a look in there. So of course we've got reactors tucked inside there got to power this thing somehow. I wonder how much power this thing actually uses up. I'm guessing it's not too much because it is just static and rotating at the same time. But let's have a look at this thrust pack. I can tell you, this whole thrust pack, if it was just cut away and turned into a ship, it would be a gorgeous ship of itself. Of course, though, I think these are all connected up with the landing gears. We've got ourselves some stairway blocks in that segment, ramps over there blast doors, a nice use of the ore detectors. Of course, there'd be thousands of ore signals. You'd, you'd be detecting ore from miles away if you had this many ore detectors on your ship. And tucked in the back here, we've also got some pillars as well as ladders just really popping the detail in this section. Of course, we've got some hinged conveyor tubes on there. And finally, we get around the back and we're inside where we've got ourselves the Titan engines. Of course, a few iron thrusters in there. Let's have a look at these little fins that detail in the rear section as well. So these have actually been sloped by the look of it, connected up by the hinge points. So you could possibly vector the thrust. I know that wouldn't really work in Space Engineers, but just look at that. Wow. The time and effort going into a design like this. I would really like to know exactly from start to finish how long this project took. Look at that, look how it rotates in each individual segment. Let's go up to the front. I'd, I'd even be tempted to try to drive this thing, but I feel like as soon as I hit the thrusters, it would just cause the sim speed to drop even further. Look at the detail on the back segment of this solar panel here. I believe each one of these is a, a little cabin area as well. Let's just zoom in through that window and have a look. Yeah, we've got a little cabin, of course with the seats upside down and all around well not upside down because i guess there's no real direction in space and what is up and down toilet bathroom in this segment and this is all rotating off that wow glorious glorious bits of design and what's this like a little antenna area as well wow anyway Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at this station with me today. And I do apologize about the frame rate, but there is really nothing I can do to it. I would recommend checking this out for yourself, but I don't know if you'll be able to endure the slow frame rate. And plus there is a 10 minute wait when this file tries to boot up. I keep catching extra bits of detail. And what's that on the edge there? So these ladders right along the edge there, so you can grab on if you fall off. I'd love to do a series on a space station of this size. If the lag wasn't as bad as this, it'd be awesome a massive crew maybe 48 players working away with different tasks but look at that anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time links are provided down in the description below